Hello everyone, welcome back to our video classes. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the even CB mechanism. That means elimination unimolecular from conjugate base. Okay, even CB mechanism elimination unimolecular from conjugate base. It's a type of elimination reaction like even elimination unimolecular. We already discussed about the uh, mechanism of E1. Okay, it, it is a two step process. E1 mechanism is a two step process like that. Even CB is also a two step process. In But the reverse in E1 and E1 CB mechanism, the order is reversed. Okay, for example, take this compound. This is the compound here H, here L. And this is a compound. In the first step, in even CB mechanism, a base abstract this proton and forms a carbanion here because this bond goes here and a carbanion forms it's the leaving group and like that. Okay, this is the intermediate formed here, it's a carbanion 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 like intermediate carbanion and is a first step it is a fast steps in the next it's a slow step comes here and it goes out the leaving group blue leaves in the second step and form the alkene like this so here forms an alkene by elimination but Elimination from this one. This is a carbanion or the conjugate base of this compound. This is a conjugate base of this compound. Okay, so this is the uh, intermediate here, and this is a slow step, and the concentration of this carbanion or this conjugate base, this conjugate base determines its kinetics or its right, and so. It only depends on the concentration of this conjugate base. That is why it follows even mechanism or it is a unimolecular mechanism. Okay. And this conjugate base, the stability of this conjugate base formed from this one determines the uh, right of this reaction. Okay. And the feasibility of a substrate to undergo even mechanism depends upon the stability of this compound that is the conjugate base formed here. For example, this is a beta hydroxy carbonyl compound, alpha beta beta hydroxy carbonyl compound, and here is an hydrogen. Okay, then in the first step, a base abstract this proton and it goes like this and it goes like this. This shift takes place and forms a carbanion like intermediate like this. Here is a double bond and here is OH and this one. Okay. Here the this is the intermediate, is a carbanion like intermediate. In the next tube is the slowest tube. Okay. It comes here, it goes like this, and the leaving group leaves. So the product will be like this okay plus h minus so in the first step the abstraction of a proton from the beta position to the leaving group this is the leaving group here is alpha and beta beta position of leaving group this is a hydrogen so this proton removes by a base then it forms a carbonyl like intermediate and it forms this compound is an alkene this is the uh, an example for even CB mechanism. Next, what are the requirements of an even CB mechanism or a substrate to undergo even CB elimination? That means, first, the compound must have an acidic hydrogen beta to the leaving group. Second one, electron withdrawing group or substituent that stabilizes the carbanion intermediate. The, in the first step, they forms a carbanion like intermediate. The substituents that can stabilize the carbanion favors the even CB mechanism. Next, a relatively poor leaving group also favors the even CB mechanism and relatively stronger base. Okay, relatively stronger base also favors the even CB mechanism. 
okay these are some requirements for a compound to undergo even cb elimination reactions okay i already mentioned you that there is a carbanion the stability of this carbanion intermediate uh, depends upon the substituents of uh, the compound the substituent present on the compound simple alkyl halides or sulfides do not undergo this type of reaction they must should have an electron withdrawing substituent that should present to this car uh, uh, carbon hydrogen bond there is an electron withdrawing group okay there should be an electron withdrawing group adjacent to the carbon hydrogen bond this bond cleaves in the first step so uh, the, in the first step there is forms a carbanion this carbanion can be stabilized by this electron withdrawing group uh, or uh, this electron withdrawing group by delocalization okay delocalization of lone pair of electrons or by inductive effect okay there is both occurs that may be this stabilization of carbanion may be by delocalization of this electron lone pair of electrons or by inductive effect okay uh, this electron withdrawing group stabilizes this carbanion this is very important in even cb mechanism so we can say that simple alkyl halides or sulfonides do not undergo even cb reactions why this happen is this electron withdrawing group increases the bronsted acidity here so h plus can be easily removed and here forms a bronsted base or uh, carbanion intermediate when the leaving group is beta to the groups such as cyano group nitro group carbonyl group even cb mechanism is favored because they form a carbanion it is stabilized by this uh, cyano group or nitro group or carbonyl group in the next step leaving group leaves and forms the product so we can say that when uh, the leaving group is at the beta position to the groups like carbanion stabilizing group like cyano group nitro group carbonyl group it favors the even cb mechanism another example for even cb reactions is this compound cn cn hydrogen cn cn okay this compound on reaction with the triethylamine is a base strong base in the first step it abstract the proton okay and forms the carbanion intermediate this carbanion intermediate is like this cn cn okay the next step c so carbanion forms minus charge and cn and cn okay this is the intermediate and this can be stabilized by resonance like this bond this is c triple bond and this bond goes like this and this bond shift like this okay well, that's this stabilized by c c n c n c double bond c okay double bond n minus and here c n this is the resonance stabilization of this compound in the next step Okay, in the next step, this carbanion like goes like this, and one of the cyanide group eliminates and form the product like this. C N. Okay, this one double bond C C N and C. Okay, the, so the requirements are: this is a acidic hydrogen. Is this one? Okay, it's a electron withdrawing groups are present stronger base are also present carbanion forms and in the next step this is the slow step and it forms the product like this okay so this is the even cb mechanism and here this intermediate is can is stabilized by this resonance effect and also or delocalization effect and also by the inductive effect that means the uh, stronger electron withdrawing character of this cn group so both delocalization effect and inductive effect operates here to stabilize the carbanion formed here. Next, what are the stereochemical aspects of this A1CP mechanism? Firstly, regioselectivity. Okay, where the double bond forms? It is very simple because this, uh, this is a, if this is the compound, this is the carbon, and here the leaving group, and this is with the uh, hydro, uh, the 
proton this is the acidic proton and the double bond must forms between the carbons which bearing the acidic hydrogen and the leaving group so this leaves and this leaves and forms the double bond forms here so the regio selective aspects of this even cb mechanism is like this the double bond there is no other option should form here so the position of the double bond depends upon the acidic proton and the leaving group and the acidity of the beta proton that is eliminated must depends upon the substituents that present uh, in the nearest carbon okay and also with the steric factors that means the substituent present on that carbon okay when there is more substituents on that carbon the steric factor operates and the abstraction of that proton becomes difficult okay so the prefer the preferential uh, abstraction of proton taking place from less substituted carbons and it forms a less substituted alkene as the product and that may called Hoffman product and you also know that the primary carbonions are more stable than secondary and tertiary so when the substituents on that carbon that means with, with, with the hydrogen here this proton is abstract this is more favored when is here less substituents or less substituted that means it is with the is with the primary the order is primary secondary tertiary because primary carbonions are more stable than secondary and tertiary so this also another factor which depends on the ratio selectivity of even cb mechanism and what about the stereochemistry here you know that there is a carbonion forms the carbonion is uh, the intermediate so the stereochemistry of the starting material is, material is irrelevant here so because the carbonion is a planar one but here there is a preference for e alkene it is less hindered than z alkene for example when this compound undergo even cb elimination by with a base it undergo double even cb elimination reactions and forms the product ph like this these two this form a double bond forms here by eliminating this group and uh, there is a proton here and also uh, proton from here and this uh, arch group eliminates and double even cb mechanism operates here and forms an alkene these two alkenes are with a e configuration so e alkenes are more preferred because these are less hindered than z alkenes so when we considering the stereochemistry the geometrical isomer e isomer is more preferred over z isomer next we are going to compare between the e1 mechanism e2 mechanism and even cb mechanism okay for example this is the uh, substrate here in e1 mechanism okay e1 mechanism first leaving group leaves these are x leaving groups and forms the intermediate here the intermediate is like this carbocation intermediate so carbo cation intermediate then base comes base abstract this proton and forms the alkene as the product okay this is the even mechanism so here first leaving group leaves then the abstraction of proton takes place and in second e2 the in e2 mechanism okay e2 mechanism this is the hydrogen the base abstract this proton same time simultaneous elimination of the leaving group and form the product like this okay and in e1 cb mechanism e1 cb mechanism okay can take the same substrate x okay in e1 cb mechanism first it abstract the proton and forms an intermediate and forms the intermediate carbonion here in the second step it goes like this and the leaving group leaves and form the product like this so 
in event CB, first abstraction of proton, that means a form, formation of carbon ion. Next, the leaving group leaves. This is the basic difference between even E2 and even CB mechanisms, elimination reactions. And in E1 and even CB, there is two steps, and this is a single step reaction. The, the, here, E1 and even CB, there is two steps. So, this is all about the even cb mechanism and the uh, simple comparison between e1 e2 and even cb mechanism so we are going to wind up this video here thank you